All righty. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Jenica. I am the catering supervisor here on the Mountain View campus. Um, today, I'm going to be preparing something that's kind of like a mix of two dishes. So um, before we get started, I want to go over a safety moment. So today we're making uh, chicken adobo. So I wanted to go over kind of chicken's handling safety. So you guys all know, probably know, but um, we want to make sure that we wash and sanitize all of our work surfaces before and after handling raw chicken. And we want to make sure that also we're cooking our chicken to temperature, so which is 165 degrees. We want to make sure the internal temperature, uh, which is taken in the thickest part, of a chicken. We want to make sure that the internal temperature is 165 so it's safe to eat. Um, with that being said, um, like I explained earlier, we are going to be making uh, adobo, chicken adobo empanadas. So chicken adobo is a traditional Filipino dish. Um, it's unofficially the national dish of the Philippines. There's so many different kinds ki sorry, so many different ways to make it. So you'll see some with soy sauce and vinegar, which is the most popular, the, the typical way to make it. You'll see some only made with vinegar, which is, um, I've actually never had it that way, but it sounds delicious because I love sour things. Uh, you'll see it made with carrots, potatoes. You'll see it made with chilies with coconut milk. I actually had over the summer, um, a friend of mine made um, pork adobo that was sous vide for 24 hours with um, coconut milk. And I've never had it before, but it was delicious. I'm not making that today because I don't have the patience for 24 hour adobo, but today we're going to be making a very traditional chicken adobo and putting a twist on it. So I'm gonna show the video now, and then if you have any questions, comments, whatever the case may be, put it in the chat box and we'll, we'll talk about it after. All right, let me get this queued up. And we'll get started.
All righty. That's uh, chicken adobo empanadas. Um, a couple of tips. Um, I only had chicken drumsticks, but if you have chicken thighs, it'll be easier to get the meat off. Um, it'll cook a little bit longer in the pan, uh, but you won't, it'll just be easier to get the meat off. Um, with the dough, it'll feel a little dry when you're putting it in the fridge, but after it let after it rests and it hydrates, it'll be easier to work with afterwards. You wanna leave it in the fridge for that 30 minutes because it'll help keep the, um, the dough flaky when it bakes because that butter is gonna get cold and it's gonna create like lift when it bakes, kind of like croissants, so it'll stay flaky. Um, and you can just skip the whole empanada part and eat the adobo as is. I've never made it with potatoes. I actually did it because I thought it would be good in the filling, but it was tasty. Um, and then I had one tip in there. So this recipe is actually for my friend's mom. I actually didn't grow up eating adobo a lot. My grandma would make other things. And when I wanted to try and make it, my friend gave me her mom's recipe and she said, don't mix it once you put the vinegar. I don't know why. <laughs> um, it's probably some scientific chemical thing, but I'm not sure. Just don't mix it. Uh, other than that, this, oh, thanks guys. Yeah, the adobo is so easy, chef. It takes, without doing the whole empanada part, 30 minutes, an hour. hour. What, what do you traditionally serve it with or over? Just rice, white rice keep it classic. Um, rice is life, as James likes to say sometimes. Um, yeah, just with rice and it's delicious the next day. But I like this twist um, because it's a good finger food. It takes, it takes a while to make, but they're cool finger foods, different than like lumpia or something like that, which I've also made. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm glad you guys liked it. This recipe, once I write it up, is going to be posted probably Monday with the recording. Um, and please feel free to reach out via Slack or whatever email. And if you have any questions, thanks so much for joining. Good job. Thanks, Adam. <laughs>